So I know we've had a lot of best tech videos recently, but you guys just seem to be loving them. Your feedback has been amazing. So from speakers to phones, glasses to sandwich boxes, welcome to Best Tech Under 100. So we're going to start this list off with the Oaxis Bento. And as much as it might look like something you store your sandwiches in, it's actually a speaker and a very cool one. It uses near field communication, which means that you can literally just place your phone on top and it'll use induction to start playing music through it. There's no wires, not even any Bluetooth pairing. It's so hassle free that once you start using it, you won't want to use anything else. It has a strong emphasis on the mids and manages to get quite loud while still retaining a lot of detail and not getting distorted. It's built pretty solid too, but unfortunately attracts way too many fingerprints. So next up is the Xiaomi Yi light, and I've been wanting to cover this for ages because it's just my all time favorite light. And I suppose at $100, you'd kind of expect it to be. It's built entirely out of plastic and glass and feels really strong in the hand. Now it actually has a touch sensitive panel at the top. So simply moving your finger around the rim, you can change the brightness, but it gets better because holding the color button and doing the same thing will cycle through 16 million different shades of color. There are cheaper lamps out there, but this is one of the brightest and most versatile I've ever used. And to top it all off, there's even an app you can download to control it remotely. So on a pretty different note, we've got these cinema glasses. So placing these on your head projects a 50 inch screen at about a two meter distance on your face. So when you buy the item, you actually get a pretty substantial pouch with every accessory under the sky, but more importantly, the blackout lenses. And putting these on the glasses means that just about in any location, no matter how bright, you can enjoy your movie in peace. I'd say they block out a good 96-97% of light. It also comes with its own pair of earphones, which sound much better than they look, but unfortunately they just don't isolate noise. And the internal resolution is definitely not the highest you can get. So next up we've got the Vibe Fly, a not only robust but also versatile pair of headphones. Now at the price, they are detailed, but they're not the most detailed, but they make up for that with a hell of a lot of bass. Bass that's not only powerful, but also controlled. The cushions do a great job isolating noise and are also super comfortable on your ears. And the headphone is made almost entirely of reinforced plastic and aluminium. So it's not only lightweight, but more importantly, strong. It can be used wired or wireless and has one of the better microphones built in. So next up, we have the Ligu M5 smartphone. Now it's a bit of a rarity that I include smartphones on a best tech video, but right now after a recent price drop, this is one of the best smartphones money can buy. First of all, it's got powerful components, powerful enough at least to play some pretty intensive games, and it's super rugged. The screen is almost unbreakable. Combine that with a premium all-round build quality, an awesome audio system, and Android 6.0, and I was pretty impressed when I tried it. So the next item is the Make Sound Jump. And yes, it's a speaker, but there's something very special about it because internally it's got a 6,000 mAh removable battery. So not only does that mean that the speaker itself lasts a long time, but it also means that if your phone is ever low on battery, you can just slide it out and use it to charge it. And 6,000 mAh is no small deal. That can charge most smartphones at least twice. The speaker itself is also very well built, super rugged, and is a little bit bass heavy, but nonetheless has a decent sound signature. So unfortunately, that's it from me for now. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I've got some really exciting stuff coming up, so if you're not already subscribed, be sure to whack that subscribe button. And with that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.